Hello, my name is Alexander Dempsey and I am the Director of Science Management for the Khalid bin Sultan Living Oceans Foundation. Today I'm going to be discussing the Global Reef Expedition, the largest reef survey and mapping effort in history. What is the coral reef crisis? The coral reef crisis has reduced coral cover over the last three decades by an estimated 80% in the Western Atlantic, 40% in the Indo-Pacific, and 50% on the Great Barrier Reef, resulting in the loss of half of the planet's reefs. Why are coral reefs important? An estimated 500 million people depend on coral reefs for their lives and livelihoods. They provide ecosystem services such as food resources, tourism opportunities, and coastal protection. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration valued coral reefs in the United States at $3.4 billion. Coral reefs also provide habitat for 25% of the species found in, on, and around the reef system. But why are coral reefs disappearing? These once beautiful coral landscapes teeming with life are being turned into barren rubble fields. Climate change and rising ocean temperatures are taking an astonishing toll on coral reefs by causing heat stress that leads to mass bleaching events. And stressors like pollution, overfishing, and coastal developments are also killing coral reefs worldwide. So what can be done? The Khalid bin Sultan Living Oceans Foundation launched the Global Reef Expedition, a 10-year mission that circumnavigated the globe to address the coral reef crisis. The Khalid bin Sultan Living Oceans Foundation surveys coral reefs around the world and helps governments develop conservation strategies. But many of these sanctuaries are dying, shadows of their former selves. Scientists estimate that 20% of the world's coral reefs are already lost. Another 35% are in grave danger. Just over a decade ago, His Royal Highness Prince Khalid bin Sultan established the Living Oceans Foundation to try to bring people from around the world together to work in harmony to combat this coral reef crisis that we're seeing unfold in front of us. I'm not a scientist, I'm not an expert, but I thought that you know the only way to help is to provide the tools for the scientists. The foundation brings a wealth of resources to study coral reefs. The Golden Shadow is on a voyage around the globe, focusing on the crisis facing coral reefs. On this six-year special expedition, the ship will travel through the Atlantic, the Pacific, and the Indian Ocean, as well as the Red Sea. So by expanding research and conservation, we can help the coral reefs return. This expedition involved hundreds of scientists who surveyed and mapped over a thousand reefs in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Ocean, as well as the Red Sea. With over 50,000 kilometers traveled, the Global Reef Expedition collected an astonishing amount of data, including an impressive 65,000 kilometers squared of coral reef habitat maps, close to 17,000 benthic and fish surveys, 9,000 mapping validation transects, for a total of 541 days of scuba diving, which is equivalent of one and a half years. The expedition was conducted by the Khalid bin Sultan Living Oceans Foundation, a private nonprofit conservation organization dedicated to providing science-based solutions to protect and restore ocean health. 
His Royal Highness Prince Khalid bin Sultan understood the importance of conducting the Global Reef Expedition using an interdisciplinary three-pronged approach of scientific research, education, and outreach. The expedition also embodied the philosophy of science without borders. In each country we visited, we brought an international team of scientists together with local leaders, conservationists, government officials, and subject matter experts to assess the state of the reefs. These local representatives provided invaluable knowledge and helped us share our findings with local communities. This philosophy allowed us to leverage the resources, commitment, and ideas necessary to make substantial progress to protect and preserve coral reefs. Scientists, conservationists, and government officials all work together to find where coral reefs are and then capturing baseline data to determine the current health of the reef. We did this by conducting tens of thousands of underwater standardized surveys to collect data on benthic and coral cover community structures, as well as the types, amount, and size of fish to determine biomass and density. The surveys from the GRE captured what we refer to as reef ecosystem metrics, which gives insight to the status and condition of the reef, and specifically macroalgae, coral cover, and fish biomass are all reliable indicators for reef health, but also can give insight into the resilience of the reef or its ability to bounce back and recover from disturbances and stressors. These three box plots show the variation of macroalgae, live coral cover, and fish biomass on reefs surveyed on the Global Reef Expedition. Each box is an individual country laid out from west to east and identified in the map above. You can see patterns of fish and benthic data and which areas still had high coral cover and fish biomass at the time they were surveyed. Some places stand out. Palau and Gambia Archipelago in French Polynesia had exceptionally high coral cover, which ranged from 60% to almost 80% on some islands. But the coral reef crisis can be seen in these graphs, with coral cover being as low as 9% in the Caribbean. Some places such as the Tuamotu Archipelago in French Polynesia had exceptionally high fish biomass, but globally the overall low fish biomass observed on the GRE is also alarming and strongly indicates overfishing. The expedition also produced detailed coral reef habitat maps, bathymetric maps, and other data layers useful for marine managers. These maps are important not only to show where coral reef environments are located, but they are a central tool in reef conservation providing a snapshot of coral reefs which scientists and managers can use to track changes in reef composition and structure over time. The foundation was a trailblazer in global coral reef habitat mapping, pioneering new ways to map coral reefs using a combination of high resolution satellite imagery with data collected in the field. In total, the Global Reef Expedition mapped over 65,000 square kilometers of shallow water habitats all of which were ground truth with data from the field to verify their accuracy. Together, this is the largest collection of ground truth underwater habitat maps ever created. These mapping and field surveys give us the most comprehensive field data set yet collected for reefs. All of our data and coral reef maps have been shared freely with host countries, as well as partners, scientists, and conservation organizations to protect the reefs. The maps are also available on our World Reef Map Portal, a global online interactive map that allows users to explore all the reefs we visited, access underwater videos and photos of coral reef habitats, and a spatial analyst tool. Now that the Foundation is sharing these high-resolution mapping products with NASA through a partnership that will help them map the rest of the world's coral reefs. Here are the lessons that were learned from the Global Reef Expedition. Data collected on the expedition provides a critical snapshot of the status of the world's coral reef communities at a critical point in time. Therefore, the baseline data recorded on the GRE will be pivotal in monitoring their possible recovery. We were encouraged by countries such as Australia, Palau, and New Caledonia, who have larger human populations utilizing the reefs and have prioritized establishing large protected areas in order to conserve their nearshore reef ecosystems. The most remote and undisturbed reefs had the healthiest reef systems, but still showed signs of coral cover loss due to climate change and coral predation, which is a cause for concern. In the Chacos Archipelago, one of the most isolated coral reef ecosystems in the world, 
with the largest strict no-take and no-entry zones, experienced an unprecedented bleaching event that was witnessed on the Global Reef Expedition. It highlights how the coral reef and climate crises are leaving no safe haven for coral reefs. Globally, the overall low biomass observed on, on the expedition is also alarming, as overfishing pressures are outpacing the ability for reef fish to recover, even in remote areas. Nearly every country surveyed showed signs of overfishing. All countries in the Caribbean and four regions in the Pacific had total fish biomass at or below the estimated threshold for sustainable reef fish community, including the world's reef fish populations are at risk of being exploited. This is worrisome because across the tropical Pacific islands, it is estimated that 90% of the daily protein consumed by local communities comes directly from the adjacent reefs. Because of the heavy reliance on reef fish for these coastal communities, the expedition fish surveys provide critical information for local governments to establish best management practices as fishing pressure continues to increase. The Global Reef Expedition revealed a need for ocean education around the world. One common theme that was recognized on the GRE was the lack of knowledge about coral reefs and their adjoining ecosystems, such as mangrove forests and seagrass beds. As a result, the foundation decided to help mitigate environmental degradation of marine ecosystems through three new education programs, including a mangrove education and restoration program, the coral reef ecology curriculum, and the Science Without Borders Challenge. The Global Reef Expedition also promoted ocean literacy throughout the world by the production of award-winning documentary films, which brought the wonder and beauty of coral reefs to people around the world. Data from the expeditions have been published in over 100 peer-reviewed publications, field and country reports, atlases, and monitoring protocols. The Global Reef Expedition resulted in a treasure trove of scientific data and that is being used currently for conservation. The foundation freely shared all of our maps, findings, and education and outreach materials from the GRE with local governments, conservation organizations, and the international scientific community so they could be used for conservation. Several countries, including the Bahamas, Jamaica, Fiji, and the Cook Islands, used the data collected on the expedition to enact new conservation methods such as MPAs and fishery closures to help protect the reefs. With the completion of the GRE and the curation of this massive baseline data set, the foundation has been working on modeling and mapping reef resilience to highlight areas or regions where corals could rebound or potentially survive the coral reef crisis. Now is the time, more than ever, to enact coral reef protection and conservation efforts to ensure that the reefs that are left do not disappear. The GRE was successfully captured baseline data for coral reefs, but the coral reef crisis has only intensified since then. We hope that the dissemination of our findings, they can be used as a stepping stone for conservation. And we'll encourage other organizations and government entities, local stakeholders, and managers to join forces. So while the picture seems to be bleak for the world's coral reefs, the take home message should not be one of despair, but more of a rallying cry for us scientists, policymakers, and educators to join forces to help combat the coral reef crisis and save our coral reefs. The research conducted on the Global Reef Expedition would not have been possible without the leadership, vision, and generosity of His Royal Highness Prince Khalid bin Sultan. We are deeply appreciative of his financial support and for the generous use of his research vessel, the MY Golden Shadow. The success of the Global Reef Expedition would not have been possible without the support of the host countries, our partners, or the hundreds of scientists and fellows who donated their time and expertise to this endeavor. If you would like to access the findings and products of the Global Reef Expedition, please visit our website at lof.org.